Welcome back to the basement. The friendliest place on YouTube. I've got my son Pryor with me today. He turned 11 recently and we're playing Shovel Knight. Uh, oh, we're not doing that. Um, Pryor has Shovel Knight on his DS and he's getting a little stuck in the lich yard. So we've got my file here on a Wii U and uh, I'm gonna play through it once just to kind of show him how it's done. And then I'm gonna hand the controller to him and he's gonna give it a try. Uh, Pryor, how old are you? I'm, I just turned 11. That's right. Uh, January prior, 5th. Prior turned 11 on January 5th. That's probably a couple of weeks ago when this video comes out. Whoop! He got me. Uh, is... So is, you've gotten good at this part where you bounce off the green guys, right? Yeah, I'm fine with those. Okay, and you can't hit him when he's being electric. Mm-hmm. Or he'll hurt you. Is... Do you know about all the, uh... Secrets? Like, there's extra money in here? Yeah, I know of some of them. Now I'm gonna leave. I could bounce up there for those gems, but I don't want to yeah. hit that thing because a ghost will come out. I hate those ghosts. So, uh, do you know where the part is where you get stuck? Is it kind of where the? Whoop! That's a bump. Yee! Oh, it got me. Um, I'll I'll recognize it. Well, it's another bomb. Yeah, I've memorized that both of those are bombs. So you probably know more about this level than I do, honestly, yeah, because it's that chest there. it's been a while. Oh, we want this guy. Come here. Thank you. Yeah. Because you can't jump that high on your own. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we like Shovel Knight uh, on the channel in the basement. We also like Shovel Knight in um, our family. Uh, all the kids enjoy the Shovel Knight soundtrack, which we listen to when we drive somewhere in the car sometimes. There's going to be some money up there and a ghost. Yeah, I'll leave it alone. I can't get up there anyway. I mean, I if we do this, does the guy come back? Yeah, he does. Oh, he does. But then he goes like that. I guess maybe. Oh. Hey. What a dummy. He's as dumb as our cat. Oh, does he do that every time? <laughs> yeah, probably. All right. Too bad for him. Yeah, you want to get this guy's lantern. Lantern? Yeah, or just the top of him. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so uh, for those of you who are used to seeing Minecraft on Sunday Long Play, never fear. Uh, that's not going away permanently or anything. I just thought it would be fun to do this, uh, kind of break things up a little bit. And um, yeah, I've actually got an idea to play some Mario Maker with uh, my daughter. How old is your sister, Pryor? She's nine. And what is her name? Betsy. That's right. That's right, Pryor. <laughs> that's funny because I say that's right, Ted, a lot when I'm recording with Ted. So now you got to hear that's right, Pry. Oh wow! Uh, oh, how do you like the dark parts? Um, I don't really like them, but I I usually just die and then remember what I need to do to get through them. Well, that's one way to do it. So you know, if you hit these ghost guys, it doesn't kill them, but it does make it so yeah. you can walk right through them and not get hurt. Yeah. Which is nice. Okay, over here, you're gonna wanna jump. Whoa! You called it! Yeah, I did. Hey, not so quiet though. Everyone okay. wants to hear your majestic advice. Oh, look! Another chance. Whoops. <laughs> oh, look! Another chance. <laughs> Sometimes it takes two. Uh. I think the real reason to come up here is probably because there are, uh. Is there song music? A song sheet? Or is no. it just the... Oh. That's kind of disappointing. Uh, is this Shovel Knight in different armor that gives him different powers? Yeah, so when you have full health, if you do a regular shovel attack, a little spark will travel yeah. along the ground. I saw that when you do it, did it to the frogs, and I was like, hmm. Yeah, so pogoing this guy is always the best bet, of course. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you just have to take a hit to get in there. But he's got a turkey, so you'll get that energy... Yeah. Back. I think not attacking these frogs might actually be smart because I think they'll just sit there and not get. You you have to get that one. Uh oh. Dark part. Oops. Frog. Frog again. Jump. Jump. Ha ha! Got it. And now you're in light again. That's a bomb. So. It'll just blow all those up. And then right there, there's a turkey. The, the skull and the ladder. Forgot about that ladder. Do we want to take the shortcut? I don't know. Do you go that way or this way? Uh, I usually go that way. This way? 
Yeah. The ladder that was down there. Oh yeah, here's this guy. This so is where I, I get stuck. I got past it once, I think. Yeah, you just gotta attack. You just gotta get in there and attack, so it, it, it's, it's not, not too heavy. this one or the next sinky boat thingy, but it's the next one. Okay. Because it has a frog sleeping on it and spikes above it and a uh, mean skull guy with a crown comes on. So it's super sinky even when you're jumping. Yeah, it's a tough one. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> I'm kind of wishing I didn't have the armor because I don't want to. I don't want to beat it with uh, stuff that you don't have in your game. Uh, could you actually go down that ladder? How come? Because I want you. I want to see you try to get past there. Oh. Oh, this. Okay. Yeah, so what you want to do haven't. is you pogo on these and grab the ladder. And once you get the treasure, you... Oh, and then you just walk like that. Yeah, you can't go back down. You have to go through this way. Oh, that's so smarter. Good old Yacht Club Games coming up with the smart level design. Yeah. All right, so we let him start sinking us, and we attack. I like how it's those skeletons with no legs picking it up. It's kind of fun. So, I mean, I guess we just sort of... You try to kill the frog first, I guess. Yeah, and him jumping... See, it doesn't sink when he's in the air, only when he lands and holds still. So no. once this happens... There, and then you can jump to keep it from sinking. Yeah. So, he only takes two hits. You just gotta get in there and attack, and if you mm -hmm. wanna jump, make sure you're at least this far over, so you're not hitting yeah. spikes. Spikes are instant kill, and I learned that the hard way. That's right. Well, spikes are instant kill. Makes spikes, it a tricky, again. tricky... Bug. ...thing. They're, they're blocked right there. Yep. Are those, like, foam or what? I think they're dirt. Yeah, those those dirt blocks can just throw you right off. Now here we could use this frog to get us down here for this extra treasure. I tried that and it was really hard and then I noticed the simplest thing ever, that you go on that one down there and get the skull over. Brilliant! Which is so much easier than trying to get the frog on there for long enough. Huh? And then but there's that treasure. Too late. Don't forget to speak up. It's gotta be... Yeah. It's so funny because when we're just sitting there and doing nothing, I'll be reading a book, and he'll be sitting there at the table doing something else, and I'll say, Hey, Dad! And I'm like, holy smokes, calm down. What's so... What are you gonna be so loud for? Yeah. And now that we're recording, you're like... Yeah. Speak up, boy. It's, it's hard to do it. Here? Huh, I noticed that. That's a jewel. That's a certain jewel in the check mark. Right, because you can break That's these the open to get yeah. money, but mm -hmm. then they don't work as check marks. Yeah. I think this has a music note in it. Maybe? Is or maybe it? there's one floating. Yeah, oh. right there. We already I had it. They came. But, yeah. I've, I've returned a fair bit of uh, music sheets to that guy in the village. I really need to beat the yard here so that I can move on on the map. Uh-oh! Oh, you see that? Oh, you're lucky. It was still down there. Oh, that was lucky. Whatever. Okay, now this room actually yeah, had me stuck for a long time. I know how to do it, though. Oh, you do? Yeah. You just go left. Oh, it was that side. Mm, whoops. Yeah. No. Now this guy, if you just stay low, he can't get yeah. you. But what fun is that? Yeah, I mean... So wait until he collapses, then get on top. Yeah, that's what I've learned. You can only hurt him when he's standing low. Right, not when he's collapsed. Mm -hmm. 
We are getting rich. Are are those 200 thing the 200 jewels the most big or like most expensive ones? Uh, I think so. Yeah. The red ones are 50. And the pink ones are Speak up. The pink ones are 200. That's right. So there's this thing. Yeah, so this this does get tricky because you have to do it in the dark here. So you got to time it correctly. This is this is the spot where I got most stuck on. I couldn't get past it. So here you want to do your down shovel thing. Yeah. You just rely on that. And they only take one hit. Yeah, you don't have. There's no time, so just wait for the flashes to reveal the best time to go. Yeah. There's one of these heads sitting here. You gotta hit him so he can't hurt you. That ghost messed me up all the time. Yeah, you don't want to wait too long because then they'll get too close to you. Wow! <clears throat> I haven't gotten this far before. Well, this is the end. Really? Oh, yeah. It's boss time. Spectre Knight, so cool. So he will transform from corner to corner. See how he's top right right now? Mm -hmm. He'll go top right to bottom left or top left to bottom right. Um, and he also likes to throw that weapon that he's holding and uh, it spins and follows a certain pattern. So something that can be good to do is just kind of watch for his pattern here. He can also shoot a little fireball. There, see, he throws that and see how he went from oh, corner yeah. to corner and now he goes back to that corner. He goes wherever his thing goes. But if he's in the air like that, you can just sort of smack him and then, see, I should have jumped there and then to sort of dodge that. If I were to, whoop, that's a fast attack that he does. He makes a little noise right before that happens. You kind of hear that shing. Yeah, with uh, King Knight, his fast attack is he just runs really quick you at, at you with oh, his he's weapon. Raising the dead. <laughs> wow. Can't, when you beat the game, you can play as all the bosses, correct? Um, not something? all of them, but you, there is a Spectre Knight campaign. You can play as Spectre Knight, uh, as Plague Knight, and uh, lately, new, uh, just last month, I think, as King Knight. Hmm. Yeah, I knew that King Knight was. Oops. Okay, there we go. That was just my watch. <laughs> Thanks for the announcement. <laughs> yep. So I've kind of been taking my time just to sort of show you his pattern, but we can attack a little more aggressively here to bring his health down. He's got two hits left at this point. Yeah. Ooh, he oh, made it dark. I, I was just going to ask if he could make it dark. He's dead. Oh, I missed him. Got him. Of course, it's helpful, too, when I have a full thing of health. So you don't have as much health as I do where yeah. you're at. I, I I have six right now. Six little balls of health. Yeah, on your DS. Mm -hmm. All right, you want to give it a try? I sure do. All right. So like I said, <clears throat> prior has got this on the DS, um, and we're playing it right now on the Wii U because that's what is plugged in. That's mostly plugged in because Ted and I recently recorded Wind Waker. I got a nice comment from um, somebody saying that they and their five-year-old son are enjoying Wind Waker and they hope that there will be more episodes soon. Uh, Is Can you only shoot sparks when you're at full health? Yes. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, and so something new for um, Pryor's sister, Betsy, is she got a DS for Christmas. And so now she is playing... Um, video games. Yeah. She got Kirby's Epic Yarn, and she also got <coughs> Shoot. Mario Maker. I tried to get her Minecraft, but like a like a parent that doesn't know anything about video games, <laughs> I didn't realize that the <laughs> new right. 2DS is different hardware than the 2DS. And so uh, her DS can't play Minecraft. Get some money. Now it seems that you know the beginning of this level pretty darn well. Yeah, I do. Because you played, played it so many times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, trying to get through the end part of it. Um, there might be, I wonder if there's not another level available to you somewhere. I wouldn't worry too much about getting the side stuff and the money, just because 
money doesn't really matter on this game file. I've already bought everything that I want in this game, so. I, I think I have three, three or four things. Three, uh, money. Oh. Three or four money. <laughs> because I spent it all on a fishing rod. There we go. Nice work. Oh, turkey. That guy really isn't too hard. No, he's big and kind of intimidating looking, but not so bad. Hey, yeah. nice job. Thank you. Does it feel weird holding the Wii U controller when it, you're used to the DS? It really does. Because it it's a does. lot bigger. So hopefully that won't mess you up too bad. Thing. Dude, you're, you got through this much of the level faster than I did. Yeah, I've practiced it 200 times. Yeah, well, no. It's so hard. Turkey, and then there's... I'm going to try and get it. All right, yeah, might as well. For my DS, because I'll be able to do that. Okay, so bop. Dang it. Yeah, you bumped it's into the... It's hard to be get those money bags. Yeah, but you don't have to worry about the money, and we're, we're not set that far back. You're right here. You're just one room away, so... I think you're in good shape. Yeah. You know, we're just having fun. It's a lazy, it's a lazy Sunday as people are watching this, if they watch this the day that it comes out. So you don't want to hit that corner. That's what kind of gotcha. Yeah. Uh, if you're gonna watch the Vikings game, shoot. Dang it! Well, we're gonna watch the Vikings game later today as we're recording this, but this video will come out on the channel a couple weeks later. Yeah. So tomorrow, a different video, a Minecraft video is coming out. We're recording this on January 11th, and I'm guessing that this video will come out the 19th. Uh, so that will be the day that either the Vikings or the 49ers will play against the winner of the... Uh. Seahawks and Packers game, oh but we're excited to find out. Will it be the Vikings or the 49ers? Will there will it be a close game? Yeah. Will it be a clean game? Will there be no injuries or will there be some sort of controversy or medical emergency or who knows what? Uh, so we don't know. We're we're coming to you from the past right now. You have the benefit of knowing how that ends if you're even a football fan. Oh my gosh! Yeah. I just totally went past it. Yeah, it's well. This is so annoying. You it's got precise. it on your first try. Well, I've got a lot of practice with this game overall. I've played through Shovel Knight oh, gosh. probably five times. So you could just skip that if you want. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to try this one more time. All right. Hey! Hey! That's all you Third had to times, say, I guess. I think that was the fourth time the charm. So, fourth time's the charm? <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I was uh, when I was younger, I was in the Boy Scouts, and I did uh, Pinewood Derby races, two years, uh, just two. And uh, they had a trophy for first, second, and third place, and I got fourth place. Aww. And then the next year, um, I annoying. put way more effort into it. Now, this is an optional thing, right? Do we want to skip this? Yeah, I've I've never gotten it though. Oh. And I don't I don't think you can actually. Well, you can. Without the ghost. No, you can. Really? Yeah. Do you want me to show you what's back there? You want me to show you how to do it? So do you just have to get like perfect timing or something? No, I could show you. And then I'll hand the controller right back. Okay. Okay. So this one goes up this far or double. See that? Oh yeah, so you could hit it again while the other one's up. Right, so what you want to do is one, two, and then three, and then bounce off them. Hmm. Like that. I would never go for that in my life. Ever. Yeah. Well, I think there's a music thing here. There is. So if you want to collect them all. <laughs> I don't even know where you are. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I know by feel. I'll give the controller back now. <clears throat> the prize got the controller again. Yeah, we're just killing a little bit of time on a Saturday afternoon, kind of waiting for a Vikings game. I just game. let that guy go. Oh, and that's... He does like that. I forgot about that, but as you were starting to do it, I was like, oh, yeah, I remember a trick, and it turns out you know it. Good job. Thanks. All right, careful. Don't jump. There you go. 
Hey, that's yes. not a bad way to go. Let's go. Nice job. That's the first time I've done it without getting hurt and the second Ooh, time. Watch over those spikes. And watch out for that bug. There's the spikes and the bugs. Yep. Yeah, I know. Until you hit the next checkpoint, you're not safe. Oh, I hit not the jump button. Whoops. Whoops. Oh, well. Now you have a no, chance. No, no, I'm here again. Yeah. Ah. Oh, that's annoying. That's the way. That's gaming, son. Uh, and I know that you know that, but <clears throat> yeah. man, when I... Pfft, Thank goodness for checkpoints. Way back, even in the original Mario, there were checkpoints. You couldn't see them. You didn't know that you hit it. You just knew that if you got far enough in a level that uh, you wouldn't have to start all the way over if you died. You'd start partway through. Yeah, and you didn't even know. Oh my gosh. Man, it's just little mistakes, isn't it? Well, and little mistakes are easy to do when you're recording and you know people are gonna be watching, especially if you're trying to talk and have a conversation. That's what, honestly, doing Let's Plays is kind of hard. You get better at it over time because you sort of learn how to talk without thinking, which is why Ted and I sound so smart all the time. <laughs> uh, but usually you're trying to split your attention between a video game and what you're saying, and that can actually really harm your ability to play as well as you normally would. I would just knock that skull off. Really? I find that that's the best way for me, yeah. You're okay. Frog's gone. Oh. That's another not bad way to do it, is what I call the tank method, where you just go ahead and sort of plow into that guy. Now be careful, remember what your jump button is. How'd that happen? <laughs> I think you jumped and then pressed over instead of pressing over and then jump. Oh my gosh. It, it can be so annoying when you're just stuck at one part. Yeah. And you just fail and fail and fail and fail. Yep. And then think you're gonna get it and then don't get it. Basement dwellers, I'm actually really glad that uh, my kids are having a little bit more of a retro sort of gaming upbringing than a lot of kids their age do these days. Um, my kids, they they've got DSs and they've got 2D platforming games basically, for the most part, and. Uh, so they know what it's like to not just have, you know, 50 games because they're all downloaded. And if you, you know, the, okay, now back up a little. Oh, okay. Just, you gotta, you gotta learn from your mistakes. And that's part of what growing up with old games did. Now, those will push you off yeah. of that moving platform. So you have to be aggressive attacking them. Careful. Uh, so yeah, anyway, you know, when I was, when I was Pryor's age, right, they had, I, I had, oh, gosh, just, if you, if you're making little mistakes and you want to make little adjustments, it's not, shouldn't be too hard to avoid those kinds of things. Um, <clears throat> I couldn't just, you know, switch games if I got frustrated or stuck in a difficult spot. I, it was either keep playing that game that I'm stuck on or don't play video games. Um, and my kids sort of find themselves in that position too because they don't they don't have a ton of them and they're not interested in not playing uh, so they persevere they push through and they let the game teach them if uh, if the game kills you when you do something then you can either keep doing that thing and keep dying or you can change what you're doing and see what works and that's I mean life kind of works that way if setting your alarm clock for 20 minutes before you have to leave the house makes you late if you keep doing it, you'll keep being late. If you change what you're doing and set your alarm clock for 40 minutes before you have to leave, then maybe you will succeed. I, I don't know if this is worth it. I, I really would like to see what's over here. Oh, this is, uh, it's not worth it for this, but go ahead, it's, um, I think it's the phase locket, so you can buy oh. it from him. The. Well, thing yeah. that shoots kind of fireballs. No, you shouldn't have dropped down there because now you can't get back without going through that area. Oh. Nope. Yep. All right, whatever you do, don't stop. Just haul through there. Okay, not, not bad. One hit, I think. Don't forget to speak up. So 
so many things to remember. Not only do you have to yeah. think about playing and think about talking, you also have to think about how loud you talk. Now, I already got the treasure chests and stuff in our first example playthrough, so you yeah. should probably just keep progressing. Not hit that frog. Now, you can hit him without moving over. You should just jump straight up. Stop, oh, Prior. Okay. When I start explaining something, I want you to listen instead of fail. Okay. So stop at the edge, yeah, and just jump straight up and swing. You're never going to land in the water doing that. See what I mean? Yeah. Sorry. There we go. <laughs> He's stuck up there. Yeah, you need him. Yeah, I do. I would try attacking him from the other side. Just jump and hit him. There you go. Now sure. you'll be able to get him down. Is it nice to dig the whole thing up with one shovel swing? Yeah, it is. Nice work. This is really easy money to get. <laughs> you should have gotten on top of him I, while he was vulnerable. I was trying. And you were dinking around with money. Well, you may as well kill him now. Oh, okay. Don't do it now. He has full health again. But he was close, and he's got a turkey. Although, honestly, I'm not sure health is very important right now. It's all about just not dropping in the pits. Which doesn't matter how much health you have if you drop in the pit. I've... I've... That part is so hard. Yep. Thank goodness for that checkpoint. Yeah. I if I was a game maker, I would definitely be sure I'd definitely be sure to put the checkpoints that I do right before any hard part. Yeah. Yeah, Mario Maker sort of gives you the oh, you landed right next to him. And you got me, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Pushed me off. Yeah, Mario Maker is interesting in that way because you get to decide where the checkpoint is, and it sort of makes you think about some of those game design yeah. decisions. Shoot. Those frogs are so annoying. Now remember, there's no timer, so you can take all the time you need to line up your shot. Make sure that you know exactly where the platform's gonna be or whatever. Good job. Whew. Okay, are you doing your down shovel thing when you drop yeah, on him? Okay. I am. You just gotta make sure you land on him and not next to him. Nice, nicely done. Okay, I'll wait like this, try to get that money bag. Oh, I got the guy there, too. Yep. Okay, get on that. A ghost will start coming. Go a little further, another ghost will start coming. Good, good. Good! Look at you! Oh, oh my gosh. All right, now get the checkpoint here. And then even if you don't succeed, oh, you don't That's have good. to do that part again. I like that cool angel in the background, the black and gray like tombstone. Oh yeah. Got a little halo on it, and then there's skulls on the fence. fence. Very cool. All right, why don't you give it a try? See how it goes. Okay. Now he's gonna hurt you over time. Yeah. So what I would suggest is not trying to take too long, but just anytime he's close enough to hurt him, swing your shovel. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> You shall be summoned when the time has come. Everyone has a time. We saw this with your beloved shield knight. Lies! I won't believe such talk from phantoms! Your very existence is a vile deception! <laughs> the enchantress is just full of surprises. She granted me new life. Oh, cool. Good for so you. that I may take yours! Oh, gosh. <laughs> Sounds a little like Batman when I do that voice for him. Shovel Knight! I'm gonna get ya! <laughs> I'm Batman. There you go. You're winning. One hit to zero. 
Okay, now it's one to one. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. Ooh, yep, there's what that quick one looks like. Looks and sounds like. We're not listening to the game as loud as we normally would when we play it, which is something that we do when we're recording. We've got the TV volume on low, so the microphone doesn't hear it. Coming live from the dead. Especially if we end up having to crank the microphone level so that you guys can hear us okay. So when he's like that, yeah, it's a good time. What you did was right. Just gotta do it a little earlier. Yeah, and what you did there to dodge it was right too. If you just hit down, then you can bounce on his head and cause another little yeah. bit of damage there. Shoot, too far away. You're doing okay, don't worry too much about it. He's gotta... Okay, so he does that once and the dead people go away. Mm hmm. And then. And then he'll do it again and it'll become dark. Um, that may have more to do with how much health he has left than it does with just timing. I think he, I think most bosses usually unlock one or two new tricks once they've hit half health. And he's one hit away from half health. There you go! Great dodge and then with the down you got him. Yeah. Okay, dead, dead. Alive. to you. <laughs> Well, it's very even. You both have eight hits left. You're a good dodger. You've lasted a really long time. Shoot. Two. Okay, now it'll be... Oh, it's not dark. Okay. So yeah, I'm guessing it probably does have something to do with health. Then. Yeah, I mean, it's not the exact same pattern every time. He definitely responds to what you're doing. Now. If you get close to him, he does something different than if you stay far away, you know? Yeah. Like that to get him. Thingy. Almost. Yeah, don't be afraid. When he does that quick move, don't be afraid to push over a little further to try to get him. Shoot, yeah. When you do that okay, down spike. Blade thing, him. blade thing again, and then he'll start moving now to the side and all, all that. He's got three hits left. You've got five hits left. Oh, good. Now he's got two left. Should not have dodged in front of that. That is word being dodged. Man, it's hard to know when he's coming. All right, he's got one hit left, and so do you. <sighs> Can it be done? Oh, dead. Okay, I got the dead guy. Hit him. Yeah! Yes! Nice job, oh. dude. With one hit left. That was pretty outstanding. Oh. Wow, that was really even. All right, so this has been a Sunday long play where we uh, help younger gamers of tomorrow uh, accomplish new things. Right, do you have anything you want to say before we wrap up? Uh, it's it, it's really fun doing the basement with you. Well, good. And I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad that I know how to beat Spectre Knight now because I'll be able to get over here yep. now because I can get to... Oh yeah, unlock new I, parts. I can get right here and then I'll be able to get that and go over here. Very cool. All right, so uh, let me know in the comments below if you want to see oh, more to of you. Prior in the basement in the future. And until next time, basement dwellers, I hope you guys have a fantastic day and we'll see you guys next time right here in The Basement. A very important part of how The Basement is able to bring you the content that we do daily is our wonderful YouTube sponsors and Patreon patrons listed on the screen now. If you would like to join this amazing group of people who are helping The Basement to make even more content and do even more streams, you can go ahead and click the link in the description or on the screen right now. And we'd love to have you join us in making The Basement not just the friendliest place on YouTube, but the most awesome place on the planet. In our solar system. In our universe. In, in the, the basement. basement.